First of all, I wanted to say that I've been very, very ill. Luckily, I'm almost better now, but that's why I haven't been uploading anything. In January, I'm going to continue with one, maybe two videos a week, but mostly one, because um, I'm in my exam period right now. But in February, I'll be done with my exams, and then I will continue with, uh, yeah, two videos a week, so that's very nice. Anyways, this video is going to be my winter fashion guide. I actually did one for fall as well, uh, I'll link it down below because it's still very relevant for this season as well because the fall in the Netherlands is almost like winter, it's as cold as winter uh, so yeah definitely check that one out as well in this video I'm going to talk about my favorite trends for the upcoming season but also my must-have basics for a capsule wardrobe and my favorite accessories so this is the perfect video to watch if you're still looking for some key pieces for the winter season. I have a shopping list with all the items mentioned on my blog as well that I'll link down below. So don't forget to check that out as well. If you're excited for this video, please give it a thumbs up and let's start. I'm first going to start off with five cool trend pieces that I think everybody should have in their wardrobe. These are my five favorite trends that I'm going to be rocking. I know there are like loads of trends that I'm not mentioning, but these are my personal favorites. So the first item I'm going to talk about is this leopard coat. I think this is probably one of the trendiest coats at the moment. I think every fashion blogger has one and I totally understand why. Personally, I love leopard print. I think it's a classic, but the key is to look for a very nice print and a very nice material. Okay, I ditched the leather jacket because it was sliding off my shoulders and it was so annoying when showing my clothing. I personally like a very realistic print. I think it looks way more stylish and way more classy if the leopard print is kind of neutral and it also goes better with my wardrobe. Also, I really like the hairy texture of this coat. It makes it also very soft and very cozy. This one is from H&M and it's a little bit longer. It falls pretty long on me, but I wanted a very classy leopard coat. So um, yeah, this one's perfect for me. I would personally combine leopard with white or with black just because it would look very classy. So for example, this coat looks very nice with a black turtleneck underneath it. This is just a very sleek and black turtleneck and I think it will complement the leopard print even better. The second item that I'm going to show you is suede. Suede has been such a big trend recently. I feel like it started already like one or two years ago, but it's still going strong. I feel like suede jackets are just a little bit more interesting than your average black leather jacket, but it's still the same effect. Um, so this suede jacket is from Zara. It's super soft. Like, I literally can't stop touching it. I really love this color. Um, it's kind of this khaki muted um, brown that I really like. It actually goes very well with my Gucci Dionysus bag and that's also the reason why I got it. Uh, a jacket like this would look good with anything. Personally, I would style it with a white turtleneck. As you can see here, I think the colors complement each other perfectly. And it's also very cool with a silver metallic skirt that I'm going to show you a little bit later. So, speaking of silver metallic skirts, this is a silver metallic skirt. Um, I got this one from Pull and Bear. So these silver plissé, I think it's called, uh, midi skirts are huge at the moment. I've seen honestly almost every fashion blogger wearing something like this. Um, I think the skirts were first of all sold at Zara, but now you can literally get them anywhere. I saw them at H&M and this one is from Pull and Bear. Um, and I think this is something that you're either going to love or you're going to hate. 
personally I think it's very cool and I think it's very different uh, it's definitely a little bit of a man repeller item not gonna lie don't wear this if you want to look cute for a nice guy or something because they're probably not going to like it but um, yeah I don't give a fuck fashion has to be fun right I would style this with an oversized sweater I think it's a key to style a piece like this with an oversized sweater and then tuck it in and then with a cool jacket for example with this jacket that I showed you earlier it would look super cute so yeah the next trend I'm going to talk about are sweater dresses they're both really similar but they're in different colors and from different brands um, so the first one is this one from Zara I got it recently it was not in a sale but I did find it at the sale section because I'm so petite I can definitely get away with it as a dress but if you're taller than me then you definitely need to find another sweater dress I feel like H&M um, do pretty long ones so if you're very tall go to H&M if you're very small go to Zara <laughs> I have this pair of over the knee boots, they're from Zara. Uh, I think I also showed you them in my uh, previous fall fashion guide, so definitely check it out. I'll link it down below. But uh, yeah, these boots combined with a sweater dress like this, and you're super comfortable and totally good to go. And this black one is from H&M, and it's actually from Real Mohair, so it's super warm. Last but not least, I have another style of coat to show you, and I know this is the third one already, but I just wanted to show you a couple of different coat options because I don't know about you guys, but I'm obsessed with buying coats. Literally, I bought, I think, six different coats in four months just because I love buying coats so much. I wear coats every day. Um, I really like how my outfit looks with a coat over it. Sometimes during lectures, I don't even take my coat off because it's so cold in our classrooms and usually my coat really makes my outfit. So yeah, I wanted to throw in a lot of different coat options. So I'm talking about the shearling jacket, this shearling coat. This one is actually from Forever 21 and I got it. I think two seasons back. Uh, at that time, uh, shearling jackets weren't that popular at all. I got this one in sale for I think 22 euros, so that's a great bargain. To wear shearling jackets in two ways. I like to dress down my nude shearling jackets and just wear it with a white tee or a white turtleneck again and then with some mom jeans. But when it comes to the black shearling jacket, this one is from Zara and I think everybody and their mother has this jacket. But I really like this one because the quality is amazing. And a jacket like this I would definitely wear in an all black ensemble. So with black skinnies, preferably ripped and a black turtleneck or uh, just a black sweater and then some black booties and you're totally good to go. <laughs> Now I'm going to talk about my five basics for a capsule wardrobe for winter. I don't have a capsule wardrobe because it doesn't suit me. I'm a fashion blogger, I get sent over so many items every week, so it's not possible for me to keep up with a capsule wardrobe. But I do like to treat the money that I spend and the clothing that I buy myself as kind of a capsule wardrobe. So I just really like to apply these rules on me, but I'm not claiming on having a capsule wardrobe. So hopefully this is helpful for anybody that actually does have a capsule wardrobe or also wants to, uh, I don't know, spend less money on a lot of items and just invest in key pieces that will last you a very long time. I'm going to start off with items that I already mentioned a couple of times. A white turtleneck and a black turtleneck are just the same as a white tee and a black tee when it comes to your basics. In the winter it's just not warm enough to wear a tee, although I really like the look of a tee and a big oversized coat. Sometimes we just need a little bit of extra warmth and I think a turtleneck is just way cuter and way nicer than a regular long sleeve. This one is from River Island and it has a little bit of a bigger turtleneck and this turtleneck is way more slim fitting, way smaller and it's very sleek and it's the perfect layering item. This one is from Brandy Melville. I think it's just so cool and so classy when you have a turtleneck on like this and an all black outfit with an oversized coat. For example, the uh, shirling jacket that I showed you from Zara with this turtleneck 
it's just, oh my god, I love it. The next basic item that I'm going to show you that you should have in your wardrobe for winter time are leather leggings. I have a very difficult body shape because my legs are pretty heavy, but I don't have wide hips and I have a pretty small waist and I also have a big butt, so, and I'm small. So it's literally the most difficult thing ever for me to find leather pants because they're usually not very stretchy and uh, you can't roll them up like I do with all my jeans. So yeah, it was just very difficult to find a pair that actually looked good on me, but I found a pair of leather trousers or leather biker jeans uh, from Zara in the fall, also in my fall fashion guide, but now I've also found a pair of leather leggings that I love even more. Again, I would wear something like this with this oversized jacket and also with the black turtleneck that I showed you earlier um, or a black oversized sweater. I just think this would look good with any other all black outfit. The next item that I'm going to show you is a black blazer. I don't know about you guys, but I don't really like to wear cardigans. I don't know why, but I just never love them. I always feel like adding a cardigan to my outfit kind of kills it. However, I do want to stay warm and I do want to layer. And that's why I really like a long line black blazer for it. Because the blazer is also super warm. I love this one, it is from Mango, I got it in a sale, I think a couple months ago, or like, no, not a couple months ago, I got it in the summer. Yeah, I got this one in the summer. I love to wear this blazer again with the black leather leggings, or just any black pants. So yeah, if you also have the issue with cardigans, uh, that you just don't find any cute uh, layering pieces, try a blazer, because it will definitely keep you warm and also makes you look very classy. Okay guys, it's time for the last item, the last basic item for a capsule wardrobe for winter and that's this vest. And I feel like a vest is such an underrated item. I feel like nobody ever talks about vests, almost nobody wears vests and I don't know why because they're so cool and they're so versatile and they're so freaking comfortable. I actually got this vest in a sale, it was such a bargain, it was 60 euros which is just way too much in my opinion, but I got it for 30 and I think I bought it like a week ago, so you can still find it at Zara, so definitely check out Zara's sale if you're still uh, looking for a vest like me. This vest is actually super similar to this coat from Zara, this shirt and jacket. A vest is just an instant upgrade to any outfit. If you wear a vest, for example, with the outfit that I'm wearing right now, here we go. Instantly, this outfit looks super cool and it's super warm and it's super comfortable. And I don't know about you guys, but I just really like to be warm in the winter. <laughs> Uh, with that being said, I still have one section to show you and those are accessories, investing in a good scarf. And for me personally, that's really the difference between fall and winter time uh, in the Netherlands. Because during fall I can get away with wearing my coat open, I don't have to protect my neck or my head with a beanie or something. But in winter I definitely need a scarf, I live in scarves, so uh, previous winter I decided to uh, invest in a very nice quality scarf and I got this one from Acne. This uh, is the Canada Grey Melange scarf and this is the original size. Um, I think there's also a smaller size but I wasn't aware of that when I got this scarf. I just got the regular one and I'm very glad that I got this one because it's very big and cozy. Because it's grey it would look good with any coat. For example it looks good with this leopard coat, but it looks also great with a black coat. So yeah, a grey scarf is an essential. Last but not least is a beanie. And this one is from Zara and it was only 8 euros. And I think that's such a steal because the quality of this beanie is amazing. I think Acne does a pair of beanies too that looks very similar to this one. But I like this one better because it doesn't have anything on it it's just basic so it's just very warm very soft also i love wearing beanies whenever my hair is greasy and i don't want to wash it or 
whenever I don't really feel like styling my hair and I just washed it, I only have to curl the bottom and then I'm totally good to go. I don't have to worry about these front bits that take me such a long time to style and uh, yeah, the top of my head. So beanies are a must have. With that being said, that's the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed it. I haven't seen anything on YouTube like this that not only focuses on the trends but also on the basics for one season. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, also, I have some how to style videos on a couple of items. For example, I have a how to style video on how I style white shirts that I'll link down below. I haven't shown any white shirts, but it's definitely basic that you can incorporate in your winter wardrobe as well. So I'll link it down below. And also don't forget to check out the blog post with a shopping list for you. So you don't have to rewatch this video and memorize all the items that I just told you. You can just open that blog post on your phone and then take it with you when you're going to shop. I'll link that one down below as well. Although I still have to play it cool because I still have exams going on and I can't upload as often as I would like to, uh, I still hope it's enough for you to subscribe to my channel because I have a lot of cool ideas uh, for upcoming 2017. So I hope you're going to be with me on that ride, which is going to be pretty crazy. I already know that. So yeah, I guess that's it for this video. I don't have anything else to say. Have a fucking amazing day and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys. When I try to start a video, there's some weird ass motorcycle or noise that ruins my intro. Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well and welcome to a new video of mine. Honestly guys, I haven't